As a Purdue student, you have all the opportunities you need to do things that change the world around you. It's just your job to take that opportunity. We wanted a second child because I just really enjoyed being a mom, so I wanted to do it again. It was great joy that we were expecting. Then it turned into shock. Everything was fine until we went for a routine ultrasound. The technician came in with the doctor to tell us that there was an emphalocele, which I... What is that? What is that? I was born with a somewhat rare condition. It's called an emphalocele. So that's when your digestive tract doesn't all come back into your body. It develops outside of your body. And so I was born with my liver outside of my body. And what that meant for me was I had to have a almost immediate corrective surgery to put that liver back inside of my body. When the doctor approached us with the process of actually uh, getting that muscle together, they gave us the two options. It was mesh, and then he said, the newest is the SIS procedure, the pig intestine. It was brand new. I had never heard of such a thing, so it was like, what? I grew up watching The Six Million Dollar Man, so it was intriguing to me, even from an early age, to say, how can you combine the technology with medicine, with people? So I was interested in engineering, but I was also interested in medicine, and so I chose Purdue. I met Dr. Geddes. Dr. Geddes is one of my mentors, one of the founders of the Biomedical Engineering Center at Purdue. And there's a faculty conversation about uh, vascular grafts. That's always important. How do you create artificial vascular grafts? So Dr. Geddes said, you know, why don't we think about using pig intestines? There's this thin membrane that's pretty strong. And then implanted that. And after time, when they looked at the explant, this thin material that's probably 200 microns thick actually remodeled into vascular graft-like tissue. And that was a discovery of the SIS material that has healing properties and regenerative properties there. What do we need to do to take the technology that was at Purdue and make it medical grade SIS? Cook got involved in the late 1990s and started Cook Biotech in 1995 in the Purdue Research Park and tried to get it in every clinical application that we can. So if we talk about Logan, that was the type of material he had, was this product that we had cleared for soft tissue repair. At that point, I would have probably been one of the first infants to really receive this kind of treatment. Essentially, SIS, when it's put in the body, the physical scaffolding in your body really builds itself back in. And then once it's done creating that new tissue, it just simply dissolves away. So there's no need for follow-up surgeries. He was predicted six weeks for ICU, and he was in and out in nine, nine days. days. It never slowed him down a bit. Not a bit. Growing up, I didn't have a great understanding until, you know, closer to the time I was in kindergarten of what really happened. When I was about four years old, my dad had told me it was the zipper that they used to put my new batteries in because I was a robot. <laughs> Which is a funny joke, but when you're four years old, you believe your dad and you think you're a robot. <laughs> we knew from birth, practically, he was going to be an engineer. We would buy him a specific kit, but he would completely tear it apart and then just create whatever was in his head. It was amazing what he could construct and where his brain went. You look back thinking, well, he's putting all this stuff together and he's obsessed with Thomas the Tank Engine. Well, engineer and what is Purdue? Trains, boilermakers. <laughs> Uh, I, I think it all, uh, all that was set forth when he was three or four. You'll see the slogan, blaze your own trail. We have a lot more flexibility here in multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary engineering both. 
you can take whatever your individual skills are. So for me, like visual communication and systems thinking and problem solving, and I can take all of those and take classes that really hit on each of those individual skills and create a degree that's really tailored to my own skill set. Earlier this year, I'd been invited to an award celebration, a banquet with the Multidisciplinary Engineering School here at Purdue, and that was really the first time I got to meet Amesh. The first time I met Logan was a uh, small group of the uh, student awardees we met in their departmental office. I had a piece of the material and showed that. And you know, he said just, oh yeah, I had pig intestine implanted in me. I didn't think anything of it at that time because I wasn't sure if it was really the technology or not. He was handing around these pieces and telling me these, these are from a pig. I said, that sounds familiar. You know, that, that rang a bell with me. So almost immediately after that, I had called my parents and said, hey, does this sound familiar to you? And they said, yeah, I think that's exactly what you had. Right there on my record from Riley Hospital, SIS submucosa graft, courtesy of Cook Biotech. It was surreal, it was like, uh, full circle. In the evening we had the award ceremony and went there and then his mother came up to me and just was saying, hey, yeah, he had your material and planted it. So yeah, that was pretty neat. Who would have ever thought that we would meet the, the doctor that created this significant surgery for my son's life? It's almost like there was a bond between him and Logan. I didn't have any idea who Umesh was until you know I met him that day and started asking him, you know, what do you do at Cook? And he started describing what they do and what he'd created. And it was really surreal that he came from the same program that I'm going to graduate from here and that we had all these connections and just an awesome moment. That night was a proud night for me to, to reflect on what happened in my career and where I am. And my family, my parents were there, and it was nice that they got to see that. Surgeons and doctors get to see the people who benefit from these technologies, but the people who create them, like Umesh, they don't have that first-hand experience with the patients. So, you know, him being able to meet me just was really important to be able to connect with me and be able to hear my experience. I think it is important that in any company they understand the mission of the company, and ours is serving patients. He's really oriented his career towards helping people. I think that's one of the most noble things you can do as an engineer is, is help others. The Purdue intersection is just amazing. This technology was invented a thousand feet from this location. And then for it to help a patient that was a baby that became a Purdue student, it's crazy, all the, all the connections that are there. <laughs> well, being a Purdue graduate really set the foundation of my career. And things I've learned here, the professors that taught me, that mentored me, really set the foundation for me in terms of my career, where I, where I went where I'm going. Yeah, that night was powerful. Uh, you know, just us having that connection, making that connection, uh, realizing that connection, really, uh, that we'd had all along. And being able to look back on everything that I've been through up to this point in retrospect and seeing the way that being a Purdue engineer has, has shaped the person I am has been a very valuable experience. And I, I can't wait to bring the experience I've had into the workplace. That night when I met Umesh and really got to understand the connection we had, it gives you a sense of belonging almost to see the connections you have with the world and the people around you. It shouldn't be any surprise really that the technology that was a game changer for me came straight out of the university that I would end up going to later in life. Logan Master. So if you're trying to change the world, Purdue's the place to do it because we we do it every day.